Hey, what's up? How are y'all doing? Happy New Year's Eve. I wanted to do a video training for y'all real quick that is very, very appropriate for right now, tonight, today, before 2022 begins. Uh, but before I do that, uh, my name is Joseph Scoogie. I'm a physical therapist. I'm also one of the co-founders of Pre-PT Grind, where we help students get into physical therapy school and absolutely dominate as future physical therapists uh, without wasting time or money. And uh, this video is is really specifically to students that are either currently applying to PT school or planning on applying to PT school in 2022. And um, as we go into the new year, I just want to just pose a question, a question that I think you should ask yourself. Uh, and if you ask yourself this question and uh, stick with it, stick with the answer that you come up with today, uh, 2022 is going to be absolutely phenomenal for you. Whether you want to get into PT school, whether you're going to, whatever your plans are as a student, it's going to be absolutely amazing if you stick to the answer you give yourself to this question. And the question is this, what will I commit to? in 2022 in order to help me get one step closer to my dream of becoming a physical therapist. And the reason why I'm doing this video uh, is because a lot of times um, we don't really make commitments with ourselves when it comes to our pre-PT journey. Um, in fact, most of us are scared to make commitments to ourselves because um, it requires us really kind of betting on us, right? You know, many of us are a lot more, I mean, we don't like to feel like we're not good enough, but we're a lot more comfortable with saying, well, I hope things work out as opposed to saying, you know what, I'm going to commit to certain things. And committing means saying, hey, these are certain things that I'm going to do regardless. And the reason why I'm using this word, it's a strong word. Commitment is a strong word is because a lot of times, like, especially in January, I I've seen what happens every single year. At the start of each year, there's always this excitement. Um, the students are like, okay, all right, new year, new me. I gotta, you know, get things sorted out. I gotta prepare to apply this year. All the different things. Sometimes it's not as happy. So sometimes it's, you know, maybe after finding out that the past application cycle did not go as planned. So there, there's this kind of fire up your butt that you're like, okay, now I have to actually do something about it. Now I have to make sure that I have this direction and guidance and whatnot. But what happens like any fitness plan or most things that start at the beginning of a new year is that usually that energy, usually that fire fades out. And, and I just don't want that to happen to you during the next year. So, so instead of saying, what are your goals? What do you want? Mm -mm, we're not going to use that. What are you going to commit to in 2022? And what I would love to ask you to do is at some point today, like literally before midnight, regardless of what time zone you're in before midnight today, grab a piece of paper, grab your phone, grab your laptop, whatever it is, and write this down, like write down your commitments to yourself. And then what I want you to do is when you write down those commitments to yourself, I want you to paste them in different places, whether if it's a physical copy, paste it in different places in your house or your apartment. If it is a digital copy, paste it as the background on your phone or, uh, or your computer, somewhere where you're going to constantly be reminded because this is your commitment to you. Does that make sense so far? And so Ask yourself, like, what am I going to commit to? Things that will actually get you closer to your goal of becoming a physical therapist. Because if that's important to you, then goals are not enough. Can y'all put that in the comments, regardless of which platform you are watching this on? If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on Instagram, if you're watching this on Facebook, just, just put that in the comments. Like, y'all, like, like, goals are not enough. We have to have commitments going into the new year, and they will drastically change how you look at yourself as a student and drastically change what you do in order to become this irresistible applicant that you desire to be and all that other good stuff, all right? So, so, so. Commitments could look like this. Here are some examples, uh, and then I will just leave it up to you. Write this down for yourself. I'm telling you, if you do this for yourself, it's going to be a game changer, all right? So the first one, I mean, it could be things like commitment to growth. Like, I am going to embrace growth. I'm going to commit. I'm not going to have a goal of growth. I'm not going to aim to grow. I'm going to commit to grow, which means that I'm going to push myself past the, the, the point of comfort, right? I'm going to do things that are uncomfortable. I'm going to be challenged by what other people say. Like, I'm going to shift my perspective. Y'all, like, commitment to growth is very different than having a goal or an aim of growing. Does that make sense? Um, 
you, you, you could also say, hey, I'm committing to asking for help when I need it. You could say, I'm committing to going through obstacles instead of trying to find shortcuts around them in 2022, right? Commitment, meaning that regardless of how I feel, I'm going to constantly do it. A commitment could also be, you know, keeping the promises that I make to myself, building self-trust, aka self-confidence, right? A commitment could be, uh, you know, starting to take more action with the resources that you already have. Many of us think that, that we need more info, more details. You have so many resources already. You have YouTube, you have Instagram, you have social media. I'm telling you right now, I mean, you have pre PT grind. <laughs> like, like, are you going to be, re are you going to take action on the things that you learn? That's a commitment you have to make because most of us are so ready to learn info, but we don't do anything with it. So we stay stuck. What are you going to commit to? Are you going to commit to filtering the circle around you this next year? Finding people that believe in your dream more than you believe in it in yourself. Finding people that have been where you're trying to go, aka PT school, aka becoming a physical therapist. Finding people that are going to push you there and never steer you away. What are you going to commit to in 2022? Figure that out before the new year begins. If you can start to think in terms of commitments, everything will change for you. And this next year will not only be a success, it'll be one to remember. So what are you going to commit to in 2022? That's it. Y'all have a blessed one. And if you're a pre-PT trying to really level up in 2022, we have a training coming up. Go to leveluptheprept.com. We're going to show you the blueprint that we have used to get tons of students into PT school, regardless of all the obstacles they had uh, and all the obstacles they faced, low GPAs, all the other stuff that we've been told are impossible scenarios. We're going to show you what those students did differently. So if you're serious about leveling up in 2022, go to leveluptheprept.com. And we got you. Have a blessed one. Happy New Year. We'll see you on the other side. Bye, guys.